Good morning and welcome to St. Bartholomew's Anglican Church online service. My name is Jeffrey Hoare. I have served parishes in Raleigh, North Carolina, Alexandria, Virginia, uh, at long time in Atlanta, Georgia, and most recently in Washington, D.C., and now live in Wilmington, North Carolina. It is a great privilege to be with you again this year. Let us begin our worship. Be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, a fragrant offering and a sacrifice to God. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be his kingdom now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray together the collect for purity. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose blessed Son was led by the Spirit into the wilderness and was tempted by Satan, come quickly to help us who are assaulted by many temptations. And as you know the weaknesses of each of us, let each one find you mighty to save. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now our readings will follow. Our first reading taken from the book of Psalms, Psalm 25. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. My God, I put my trust in you. Let me not be humiliated, nor let my enemies triumph over me. Let none who look to you be put to shame. Let the treacherous be disappointed in their schemes. Show me the ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. In you have I trusted all the day long. Remember, O Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth and my transgressions. Remember me according to your love, and for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. Gracious and upright is the Lord, therefore he teaches sinners in his way. He guides the humble in doing right and teaches his way to the lowly. All the powers of the Lord are love and faithfulness to those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, forgive my sin, for it is great. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. In those days Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven. You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. And the Spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness forty days, tempted by Satan, and he was with the wild beasts, and the angels waited on him. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the good news of God and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. This is the gospel of the Lord. 